Yes, guys, welcome back to another review. Thankfully, after winning El Sakako, big up to everybody who watched during the watch along. It wasn't a good game of football. It really wasn't, but it was a necessary victory. We had to win this one. If we don't win this game, we are 10 points off, I think, sixth. And like even looking at the Europa League is looking like a pipe dream. Thankfully, we've kept ourselves in a running, but for how long? I don't know. I really don't know the results that we have coming up. Uh, Man City, Brentford, Newcastle, Arsenal is really not good. It's really not good. We'll see, though. We'll see. We might be able to put, to pull some craziness out of the bag. We managed to step toe-to-toe -to -toe with Man City and take a draw. Let's pretend we could do something, although like one look or even thought about that match against Palace just makes me think we got no chance. We got no chance because we played like absolute arse. The fact that we made that Palace team look that difficult with that amount of injuries that they had is just... Oh, it begs belief, but like, you know, with this manager, you know, you're already going to be handicapped from the start. I know people are going to say you had a better second half because we scored three goals. I think we had a crap 89 minutes. Then Gallagher scored his winner. And then um, Palace threw everybody forward and we caught them on the counter. Enzo scores and that's the game. That's literally it. In terms of individual performances, big up Petrovic, maybe in Cuckoo, maybe Colwell. Everybody else sucked. Everybody else is poor. Gusto is probably the best of the rest. That's it. Like, it really wasn't a good performance at all. Like, we're moving the ball slowly in the defence. We couldn't play anything through the middle. Everything had to get played out wide because of how compact Palace were and our setup. We decided to negate for Silva's play, um, pace or lack of pace. We we're going to push Caicedo into basically a centre back position. Then try and push Enzo closer forward to him. So we basically had no midfield at times. There was other times where Enzo was again pushed further forward. Away from Caicedo. And it was just a, a giant mess. Things got a bit better when Silva came off. A little bit. Like we were holding on to the ball a bit more. I mean we were doing that for the whole game to be honest. Like, even at that point it weren't great. I guess we were just progressing it to the final third a little bit better. But... It weren't a good game. It really wasn't. Like, we're lucky we just played Crystal Palace and they just absolutely suck and they've got so many injuries. And we're probably lucky they didn't have Eze and Elise the way we came out for that game. Maybe it's a different game with them two on the pitch. I don't know, but whatever. We had to win. We won. That's really the end of it. Cool. 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 Big up to everybody that's locked in. Hit the like button, subscribe and all of that shit. Uh, I don't know where our next victory comes from. Let's just hope it's the cup final. I don't have any hope for Man City. I got no hope at all. Hey, we'll see what happens. Big up everybody. Like, subscribe and as always, up the chills.